Hello friends. I hope you're doing well today. As of this recording, the presidential election has been held, but a winner has not been called yet. And if you're like me, you're probably somewhat glued to the news to figure out what's happening. And it's fairly common knowledge that there are two things you don't talk about. Religion and politics. And just by mentioning the word election, <laughs> I realize I'm opening up myself to a little bit of risk. <laughs> but it's at times of chaos where we need reason and objectivity the most. So let's just take a step back for a moment and talk about what we know to be true. Over the next little while, the media is going to continue to go completely bonkers about the election, about how razor thin close it is, and it is, and all of the drama around the electoral votes because they want to keep us tuned in and their job is to keep us tuned in. There will likely be legal battles over ballots and when they were postmarked and if they can be accepted. At some point, a winner will need to be declared one way or another. Half the country will be happy and the other half will not. <laughs> and the last thing that I think you and I need to remember is that this election is bigger than you and I. It's bigger than any one state. And it's something that we cannot control. The only thing that we can control is how we respond. And I think we need to ask ourselves some questions. Is it really helping me to stay constantly tuned into the news? I don't know that it's helping me much. Does it serve me to get emotionally wrapped up in an outcome that I can't control? Is there something else that I can do that will be helpful? What can I be grateful for in this moment? Would now be a good time to pray? Yeah, probably so. We're living in incredible times of uncertainty and chaos, but at some point we need to separate ourselves out of the chaos and focus on the things that we can actually control. And those are our own reactions and how we deal with those reactions. This is an important moment in our history. But one thing I do know is that we are a resilient country. And there's a lot more love and a lot more goodness and a lot more positivity in the world and in reality than what the media and especially social media will tell you. Hold on to that. Friends, take care of yourselves. Take care of one another. God bless you. And may God bless the United States of America.